All right, guys, time for another review. So this is the Artillion tractor canopy that I put on the tractor, what, a year ago, a little over a year ago. And uh, I like it, but you can already see in the video here the problem that I'm having with it. See how it's like angled downhill? Let me get over here on the other side of the tractor where the sun's to my back and then maybe you can see it even better. Eh, it doesn't really help any. But anyway, you can see how the front of the canopy keeps sagging downward. And I've gone up in here, let me zoom in a little bit, uh, where the hardware is up there that holds these bars. I have gone in there and I have tightened those down as much as I can. Um, I guess I could put some thread locker in there and try that. I really didn't want to because the whole idea of this canopy is that it's supposed to be quick disconnect. You can take the whole thing off of your roll bar very quickly if you wanted to. Uh, and just the way that the mechanism and everything works there, you're supposed to be able to release the canopy cover and take it off uh, real fast. So I really didn't want to start using thread locker on the hardware in here, but I think that I might end up having to do that because for some reason, you know, you get out here on your tractor and, uh, you know, inevitably you're going to start bouncing around when you're out in the field or on a gravel road grading or whatever the case might be. Tractors obviously don't have any suspension. And so you bounce around a whole lot and I just can't get this artillion canopy to stay put. It just won't stay in place. Uh, now, some guys may not have a trouble, have a problem with that, might not have any trouble with it. Uh, but I've been adjusting on this thing and tightening everything down and double checking it for months and it seems like the first few times i use it it starts to sag on me so that's kind of a bummer uh don't really like that so much about it but one thing about it when you get up on the uh dog's gonna start barking get up in the operator station you can see how with it sagged you do get a little bit more uh protection from the sun i guess it keeps a little bit more of the glare out of your eyes this way so i guess it's not a total bust um but it's just kind of frustrating it will eventually keep coming down as you bounce the tractor around in the field and then sooner or later i have to loosen everything back up and push it up again um so that's my only complaint with this it is really cool how you can take it on and off very quickly um, and you could even use it on like your zero turn. You could buy, you know, the hardware mount and you could use this cover, this canopy on your zero turn and then put it back on your tractor or whatever the case might be. That's kind of cool. Uh, that is really neat, uh, but it just won't stay put. So FYI on that. But aside from all of that, it has been great so far. Uh, I try to keep it out from under the trees so like when i'm down there in the tree row i try to be mindful of the limbs that are hanging down so that i don't damage it uh, but it has been scraped a few times and it comes through pretty well i mean it'll it'll go through some limbs and and uh, and obstacles somewhat unscathed uh, the powder coat or paint that they put on there holds up great it doesn't leak from those bolts you see how it's got a lot of bolts up there for the hardware None of those have been leaking so far. So it seems like a quality product and it does a pretty good job, you know, aside from the uh, keeping it in place issue. So uh, if you're looking for a tractor canopy and you're looking for one that maybe you can get the most benefit of by swapping it around on different pieces of equipment, I would still recommend this Artillion canopy. It's pretty awesome. Uh, maybe I will go ahead and put some thread locker on here next time and just see I just want to see if that helps any, but I don't know that it will because I think the issue is that it's just not, it doesn't have enough clamping force. Like I've got all that hardware, like I said, I've got it all cranked down really hard and I don't think it's an issue of the hardware coming loose. It just doesn't have enough clamping force to hold it. So I'm not really sure that thread locker is going to be something that can fix that issue, but I may give it a whirl and try it just to see. Heck, what have I got to lose, right? Now I've got to get my diesel jug and go fill it back up while I still can. Some of the diesel stations around here in central Kentucky are starting to run out, which is a big bummer. So I'm going to keep some diesel fuel on hand if I can. So what i was doing out here with the tractor today is cutting down another tree 
I want you to see this. So this tree was a live tree. Uh, obviously it's November, so it's been dropping its leaves, but you can see that it did still have leaves on it. And I mean, it was a pretty good sized tree. Uh, this is about the middle section of it. So it's probably, my hand's about eight inches, about eight inches in diameter at this point. It was a little bit thicker down there at the base. So a relatively young, maybe 25, 30 year old oak tree but uh, check this out. I used my cobalt 48 volt electric chainsaw to cut this tree down. And as soon as I cut into it, it started going really, really well. And I thought, man, this chainsaw is doing a great job. <laughs> but then I quickly realized why the chainsaw is doing a great job. Check that out. I've never seen that before on a live tree. I mean, obviously trees that have been rotted and dead for a long time will do that. But this tree was live. It was producing normal foliage, just like any other tree, and it was totally hollow inside from the ground all the way up uh, several feet. You know, you had to get up into the middle part of the tree to get some hollow, or excuse me, some solid wood. Everything below the middle part of the tree was hollow like this, so I guess you learn something new every day. That's pretty wild. But the good thing about this is I can easily just keep a fire stoked up down in there and burn this stump out now. So that's cool. Reason I cut it down is because it's got one right next to it that's bigger. It's already ahead of it uh, on the timeline. And, you know, it's a big, beautiful tree. So I didn't want this little one here to choke it out. So I decided to go ahead and cut it down. And what I thought I was going to do, what I've been doing on some of these other ones down through here, is I'll cut it off about the same height that you would have for a chair. And that way you end up having a nice place to sit out here in the woods. Cause I mean, the river's down there, it's real pretty down here. So, you know, if you gotta cut a tree down, why not save it down here at the bottom and make a chair out of it, right? Nice place to come sit out here in the woods. But this one's not gonna work out for that. So, oh well, too bad. All right, I'm gonna go back and uh, get the rest of this cut up, get back to work, but We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend.